Well, I, so I think for, for me, this abstract uh, uh, underscores the, the, the broad range of, of clinical benefits of ofatumumab. It, it reduces relapses, it reduces disability uh, worsening, it, it reduces MRI lesion activity and atrophy, brain atrophy uh, worsening. Uh, and the effect on, on disability probably uh, is both an effect on um, uh, focal lesion activity and on whatever the, the physiology is, the pathophysiology that leads to uh, gradual worsening. Well, I, I think, the, I mean, the main thing is, is that it, it reinforces uh, the benefit we've seen from the CD, anti-CD20 uh, uh, strategies. That, that appears to be a, a very effective way to treat MS. The main advantage of, of ofatumumab over the available anti-CD20s is that it's, it's self-administered by the patient. They don't have to come into an infusion center. So uh, first of all, uh, even before the, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, that was anticipated to reduce costs uh, and probably to, and to be somewhat more convenient for patients. They don't have to take a day off from work. Uh, but with the pandemic, it, it's emphasized that advantage. Um, because that's one of our main concerns is bringing people into a, a medical facility. So, so that would be how the, the main way it would affect uh, the landscape, I think. It's a little bit hard to predict what the FDA is uh, going to, what indication it's going to approve, but I suspect it will be for relapsing forms of MS, like the recent approvals of other medications. Um, uh, and I, uh, I don't know for sure, but I expect that Novartis will pursue um, uh, a progressive study, uh, and also probably will pursue a, a, a pediatric study. Those would be sort of the logical next steps.